everybody, this is uh, Sdarktek back with you with Paracrew. Today I'm going to be showing you some camera functions on smartphones that uh, can be used in order to achieve some things. Uh, this is uh, not a photography kind of tip video, it's more of like camera functions kind of tips. So uh, let me begin by showing you one of the first tricks. This is gonna be like seven tricks in total, so let me just go ahead and open up my camera app. Uh, let me show you let me show you what we're gonna be working with today so uh, today we're gonna be working with a book in this case I got a book of Game of Thrones and uh, a TV remote that I got over there that in emits infrared signals and I also have a cactus over there which is gonna be used later I'm gonna show you how so uh, first of all my the first trick we're gonna be showing is using the infrared remote control now, most smartphones have this ability of showing infrared emissions from the infrared emitter on the remote. So, uh, let me get to a little bit of a darker environment and show you how this works. So, while focusing down here, uh, let me press a button, for example, number two. This should be showing the infrared emissions. Now, just wait for my camera to focus. You might be seeing that small yeah there you go it kind of flares if you are in a more dark environment you will be able to see the infrared emissions more clearly anyways that's for the infrared emissions over here then what you what probably some users don't know is that you can use the volume buttons of a camera to snap a photo for example let me put the, let me put the book over there zoom in and uh, just hit the volume button in order to shoot a photo now let me hit one there you go this, pro this works with most Android phones and the iPhones. You just use the volume up or volume down in order to shoot photos. Um, this is actually particularly... It helps with uh, selfies in order to stabilize the image and don't get that blurry image result. Let's Let me lower the zoom. After that, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get multiple instances of one item into the same photo. So, first of all, let me put up this book over here. And how to do that is to actually switch to panorama mode. Shoot an initial photo of your item. There you go. And then move the item towards uh, one of the directions. For this case, I'm going to be moving it to the left. And uh, then reshooting another photo. And then merging these two photos through the photo processing. Now let, let it have process the panorama. And there you go, you have two books on the same photo. Uh, I have done this with uh, some people over here. Let me show you the photos. This is one of my friends over here, and he has posed at the stairs, and then twice on the wall, and it's on the same image. It's basically a panorama which uh, processes multiple images of the... and uh, merges them into the same layer. This is without Photoshop need, you just need the panorama function on your phone. Next is one of the most popular uses for camera on smartphones. Probably most users are aware of this function. You can actually sp scan barcodes with your smartphone. So, let me scan the barcode of my book over here. There you go, I already have the barcode. Now, uh, I don't have an internet connection at the moment. Oh, actually I do. Just give me a second for my phone to connect. And you can actually search for that barcode in the internet. So, let me go back. And... Hit book search. Just once. And there you go. It has found my book through the barcode. Another function that uh, many people are not really aware of is actually your smartphone camera can be used to make some decent scanning of documents and generally anything you would like to scan. For example, I'm going to be using Cam Scanner on Android, and uh, I'm going to be scanning the front page of my book over here. So, I just snap a photo.
it OK. And then the software automatically puts the edges of the book in order to make a good scan and just hit OK and it will crop the image to make a really decent scan. Well, uh, this is kind of a, my book cover isn't exactly the best sample to do this, but uh, I have tested it in the, in the past and it actually works really decently with documents. It has almost uh, replaced my original scanner. I only use my scanner to perform uh, various tasks that require really high image resolution. So uh, after that, I'm going to be showing you how smartphones can actually be used to uh, make image analysis. For this, I will be using Google goggles. Uh, with this software, uh, you can actually get some OCR. You can also get uh, Intel on various locations. For example, if I am at the Eiffel Tower and snap the Eiffel Tower and analyze it with Google goggles, it will actually give me information about my, uh, the topology and stuff. So, for example, I'm going to be... No, actually, let me turn it around and snap it. There you go. Snap. Now, uh, the software will analyze the image and possibly give me the text and also the book that I have scanned. There you go. If I bring this up, it actually brings up the text behind my book. Well, after that, uh, the, one of the last usages for a smartphone app for the camera is uh, you can actually use your smartphone in order to get your heart rate. You do not need a heart rate monitor for this, you, do, you just need the camera. So what I'm doing right now is placing my finger on the smartphone camera behind and uh, through color changes, this actually uh, helps to detect my heart rate. It can be really accurate on some smartphones and uh, kind of less accurate on other smartphones. Actually depends on the definition of the camera, I believe, and uh, how it uh, is connected with the flash. For example, I am now getting more and more accurate hard reads. So anyways, that's it for your heart rate monitor. So uh, without further ado, thank you really much for watching my video today. Uh, I hope I will be seeing you in my next videos. Uh, if, it, uh, if you liked my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. This is Dark through Perico and I'm out. Go, go. Bye.